a look at several new changes and features for iOS 13 Beta 4. Thanks for watching 9to5Mac. Be sure to thumbs up, click the subscribe button, and then enable notifications with the bell icon so you won't miss any upcoming videos. In the Messages app, you'll notice a new Voice Memos button. Here's how it used to look on Beta 3, and here's how it looks now on iOS 13 Beta 4. And on Beta 4, you'll notice a new pill-shaped edit button for managing your widgets. One of the cool things about iOS 13 is the ability to share audio. So here in this example, I am connecting a pair of Powerbeats Pro and AirPods simultaneously. You'll notice a new audio sharing indicator right there in control center, right on top of the volume slider. And of course, when you open it up, you can adjust the volume independently, just like that. Really cool feature in iOS 13 iOS 13 also brings the ability to announce messages with Siri via AirPods, and there is a new control center toggle just for that. You can enable that in your control center settings. Here it is, you turn it on when you have AirPods connected, you have announced messages on, and you can turn announced messages off, just like that. And here's a look at the toggle up close. When viewing a video in the Photos app for iOS 13 Beta 4, you'll notice that the favorite and delete buttons are now available right there at the bottom of the interface. And in beta four, you'll find a slightly redesigned command tab switcher. Here's what it looked like in the previous beta. And with beta four, you'll notice some subtle changes and update to the font color. You'll also notice that the outline around the selected icon is now changed just slightly. Here's what the floating keyboard looked like in iPad OS beta three. Beta four adds rounder corners and a more significant shadow. But the biggest updates have to do with 3D Touch. You'll notice a new 3D and haptic touch heading for accessibility settings under touch. You'll notice a touch duration panel under the 3D Touch sensitivity. So you can set that to fast or you can change it to slow. Here's what it looks like when set to fast. And notice the updated image as well. Now here's what it looks like when set to slow. But the most important update in beta four is that 3D touch now works as expected. So previously you just had a haptic touch, which didn't allow you to actually force press on the screen and uh, continue your gesture. If you try to do that, you would go into edit mode like that. But on iOS 13 beta four, not only can you haptic touch, but you can 3D touch, like true 3D touch, press into the screen and continue your gesture in one continuous motion. So that is true 3D touch functionality and it's back. And as you probably already noticed, you get an updated quick action menu that's a little bit smaller, a little bit more condensed. And at the bottom of that quick action menu, you'll notice a new rearrange apps option. And this allows you to easily invoke edit mode right there from the quick action menu. So you just tap it and you're in edit mode, just like that. And you'll also notice an updated UI when invoking a quick action shortcut on a folder containing apps with pending notifications. So those are some of the biggest features found in iOS 13 and iPadOS 13 beta four. Let me know what you guys think down below in the comments. This is Jeff with nine to five Mac.